Through the massive gateway of Parliament House at Canberra, you can glimpse the classic splendour of the new Australian War Memorial, tribute to the Commonwealth sons who gave their all in the last war in the cause of freedom. A monument to the memory of pals. Among its trophies is a propeller from HMAS Australia, a German 5.9 captured by the 45th Battalion, naval torpedoes, a French 20-inch shell, and a British 18-inch, ship's boats used at Gallipoli, a British Mark IV tank of 1916, and a French Renault of 1918. A feature of the memorial is the exhibition of models combined with pictures. This model of Gallipoli gives some idea of the incredible task that fell to the Anzacs when they stormed the heights. But the job was done by men like these. Magnificent exploits by Australian divisions are captured again in all their stark realism. This one, for instance, shows the Aussies retaking Dernacourt in 1918. In August of the same year, the 2nd Australian Division carried the heights of St Quentin. And the scene shows the 6th Brigade attacking from a frontline trench. A stretcher party under fire and the 10th Australian Light Horse in action. But a tiny fragment of the epic story that could be written of Australians in the last war and this. Every branch of the services could tell its own tale of dauntless courage and duty nobly done. A masterpiece, but at best a symbol in stone. They were the Empire's flesh and blood.